Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning in to the weekly report, the Vietnamization of Ukraine. As Ukraine's defeat in the war moves closer, the neocons are desperate to draw the U.S. further into the fight. Over the weekend, former U.S. State Department official Victoria Nuland told ABC News that the U.S. must help facilitate Ukrainian missile attacks deep inside Russian territory. The Biden administration has to this point avoided involvement in such attacks, likely because Russian President Vladimir Putin has warned that Russia will strike any facility that supplies or facilitates strikes inside of Russia, wherever they may be. It's a clear warning from a nuclear power, but as Newland and her fellow neocons see their Ukraine project failing, they demand escalation. This is just what they did in their previous disastrous projects like the Iraq War, the attacks on Syria and Libya, and the 20-year occupation of Afghanistan. For them, the failure is never because it was a bad idea in the first place, but that not enough lives and resources were poured into that bad idea to create a good outcome. But Russia is no Iraq, nor is it Libya. This time, they are playing with World War III and nuclear destruction, and no one in D.C. seems concerned. Last Thursday, the chairman of the Joint Chief of Staff, Charles Brown, said that NATO trainers deployed within Ukraine was inevitable. We'll get there eventually over time, he said. This, of course, is exactly how we got the Vietnam War But Russia in 2024 is hardly the late 1950s Vietnam. Russia of today is a country that can fight back and can project military power all the way to the source, which means the United States. Is Newland's Ukraine project worth dying in a nuclear war over? The whole U.S. involvement in this proxy war has been based on lie after lie. They said, we had to help Ukraine defeat Russia because democracy itself was at stake. Then Ukrainian President Zelensky canceled elections. So they told us we have to help Ukraine defeat Russia because Putin won't stop there. He'll soon be marching through Berlin, London, and maybe even New York. Doesn't it remind you of how the neocons were warning us that Saddam was going to attack the U.S. mainland with drones and that he was operating mobile weapons labs? Anything to get the public on board for their war. The fact is, the neocons and warmongers lie constantly. They will do whatever it takes to get their wars and, sadly, We do not have an independent media in the United States to challenge them on their lies. Our media is so closely tied to the military industrial complex that it is also a stakeholder in war profits. That They aren't going about to rock the boat. Anyone who thinks we cannot get sucked into another war like we were with George W. Bush's lie that Saddam Hussein had weapons of mass destruction is not paying attention. It is happening again in real time. The fact is we live in a deeply corrupt society dominated by individuals who do not believe in truth. When you don't believe in truth, you will have no qualms about manipulating others to do your will. So unless they are stopped, neocons like Newland will demand more attacks on Russia, more U.S. troops in Ukraine, more escalation. Until Russia fights back, then it will all be over. Is this what we want?